Okay, so to do this question, I'm going to start off with a number line. And I'm going to put the number given to us in the question in the middle. So 89.6. Now it says it's the nearest tenth of a second. So what I want to do on the left hand side is put the next number down. So what could it have rounded to if it was slightly less? Well, the next one down would have been 89.5. And the next one up on the other side would have been 89.7. Now to find the bounds we just find the halfway points and this left hand one will be the lower bound, the right hand one will be the upper bound. So that's going to be 89.55 and 89.65. Now it says it wants it uh, as an error interval and use t for the time. So we put t in the middle then we put uh, the greater than uh, sign on the left hand side and then just the normal inequality on the right hand side now these two signs here will always be the same okay so when you're asked to do an error interval it's that way around so we're going to do our 89.55 on the left hand side and 89.65 on the right hand side now the reason why the um, inequality has an equals underneath it on the left hand side is it can be 89.55 and still round to 89.6 the reason it doesn't have one on the right hand side is 89.65 would have rounded to 89.7. So if you just remember the things in the blue circles are always that way. And the letter it asks you for just put in the middle. If it doesn't ask you for a letter you can just pick any letter you want. You can call it X or something. Um, and then the lower bound is on the left hand side and the upper bound is on the right hand side. And the lower bound is always here and the upper bound is always here.